It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold, revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you for being a part of this Last Day's Church community here on this ministry channel of Signs of the Last Days. Thanks to all of you who are supporting this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. It is truly you praying and you giving that supports this ministry to continue and be here as we are here watching together with you and praying with you. As signs of the last day's prophecies reveal, we're nearing the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church, and it's time to make sure that we are ready now for his appearance. There's news we're an 18-foot-tall satanic statue in Houston, Texas, on a university campus, was beheaded as it was decapitated in the early morning hours when Hurricane Beryl was hitting Houston as strange storms with satanic statues being beheaded are now signaling we have entered a prophetic era of the signs of the last days when they worship the creature rather than the creator that leads to a time of great tribulation such as the world has never seen. The 18-foot statue that has been described as satanic is a golden statue of a levitating naked woman where the statue's braided hair is formed into the satanic goat horns of Baphomet. And instead of arms, the statue has serpent-like tentacles and instead of feet for the legs, the statue's legs transform into serpentine curled roots. There is definitely a demonic inspiration that is perceived when observing this statue, which was created by an artist named Shazia Sikander. She is from Pakistan and has Muslim and Hindu influences. It's reported that Shazia Sikander said that the statue represents the power of the woman with its celebrating Eve. With Shazia saying that it is celebrating Eve as being the first lawbreaker in her disobedience to God when she was influenced by Satan. And she said that the statue honors women's ability to have abortions as it pays homage to now-deceased Supreme Court Justice Ginsburg, who she said was a fierce woman of resistance to the dominion of patriarchal representation. And that since Ginsburg's death, there was the reversal of woe, of Roe that she said was a setback to women's progress as the artist of this statue essentially described it as representing rebellion against God and the order of God, as described in the Holy Bible Scriptures. The statue was on public display at the University of Houston when in the early morning darkness, Hurricane Beryl hit Houston. The storm was a surprise to the area as it mysteriously had unexpected power that did shocking damage. Citizens of the area who are veterans of many Category 1 hurricanes, which is the lowest, weakest level, they were mystified as to how a Category 1 storm was able to wreak so much damage, such as they had never seen before for such a storm of this category. The experts are now saying that Beryl was a surprising, non-typical, abnormal cyclone with an unusual path, which they say is showing us that unseen forces are at play now that have accelerated and intensified change to where things are no longer like they were before. 
and we have been taken into a new era that we know from Holy Bible prophecy will cause distress of nations and men's hearts to fail for fear of the expectation of those things which are coming upon the earth. And after the early morning darkness, when the wind howled and the windows shook and everything went dark, when all power was lost, afterwards is when authorities say that the statue in Houston was found beheaded with a satanic head decapitated during burial. In the Holy Bible scriptures, other statues to demons also suffered the same fate. Sometimes it was mysteriously done directly by the hand of God, like in 1 Samuel chapter 5, where the statue of the pagan Philistines named Dagon early that morning in the early morning hours, the statue of Dagon fell upon its face before the presence of the ark of the Lord in that prophecy in that chapter. And when the Philistines set Dagon back up in its place and they arose again early the next morning, there was Dagon fallen on its face again before the presence of the ark of the Lord God. And it was beheaded with the head of Dagon broken off. And it was in Judges chapter 16 that God had sent a judge named Samson against the pagan Philistines, who when he was brought into their temple, when a sacrifice was to be made to the statue of their demon god Dagon, Samson then prayed, and with strength he broke the pillars of the temple to where the pagan statue and its worshipers were all destroyed. So whether by directly by the hand of God or by someone that God has sent, we see that in times past that the statues to demons, that they also fell and were decapitated in times past. There's an investigation now by university and police officials into this beheading of this satanic statue in Houston where university leaders say that they were disappointed to see that the statue was damaged in that early morning as Hurricane Beryl was hitting Houston. And they say that they think the damage is believed to be intentional and that police are currently investigating the matter as the head of another demon statue has fallen. The end time prophecies foretell. In the book of Daniel chapters 9, 11, and 12, and in the book of the Revelation of Jesus Christ chapter 13, that the prophetic last days will develop into a time of abominations that are represented in molded images formed by humanity in rebellion and opposition to the Lord God of the Holy Bible Scriptures, to where humanity will again in the future, as in the past, worship vain images that pay homage to demons and the creature instead of the Creator. For just as Dagon was worshipped in the past, the dragon who is that serpent of old called the devil and Satan that deceives the whole world described in Revelation prophecy will be worshiped in the prophetic future through the Antichrist and his image that the false prophet of world religion will form as they will worship and serve the creature rather than the creator, the Lord God in the end time. In the time that is nearing of great tribulation, such as the world has not seen, nor shall ever see again, and strange storms with satanic statues being beheaded is signaling that we have entered a prophetic era of the signs of the last days that is preparing the world leading them into the time of abominations when there will be a storm of great tribulation 
such as the world has never seen. And these signs that we are seeing now are signaling to us that it's time to prepare now for the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church by being born again of the water and the spirit into the kingdom of God as Lord Jesus commanded that we must. In John chapter 3 and verses 3 through 5, and the chosen and sanctioned apostles by the Lord Jesus Christ, they preached how to be born again of the water and of the Spirit in the Acts of the Apostles preaching in Acts chapter 2, chapter 10, and chapter 19. And if you would like help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you, in the water and the spirit, according to the preaching of Jesus and his apostles, actually in the Holy Bible. You can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website, signsofthelastdays.org, where in the footer you will find our email address. And you can email us with the name of your town, your state, and your zip code saying that you would like a location in your area where you can be biblically prayed for and baptized into the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be looking for our next Watch and Pray live stream broadcast as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evening where we plan then to share more signs of the last day's prophecies. And please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel Please click the bell to get all the notifications for our live streams and videos. Significant, amazing prophetic signs are happening now in the world event, showing us that we are living in the last days of prophecy and revealing to the biblical believers of the Lord Jesus to keep looking up as the signs show that our redemption is drawing near. Signs Draw 